welcome. Come on in. It's Thursday and it's happy hour. Home happy hour to be exact. So grab a drink and let's get started. Today on this week's home happy hour, we're talking about how do you properly price a home? So there's obviously my ideal and how I would like to do it. And then of course there's your ideal and how you would like to do it. And sometimes they don't always match up, <laughs> especially right now in Portland, it's definitely a seller's market, but that can sometimes result in you thinking your house is worth more than it actually is. So how do I come up with a value for your house? First off, I need to walk through the house and check it out because even if there's two houses that were built at the exact same time in the exact same neighborhood, you might have done updates and your neighbor hasn't done anything since 1972. So they're not going to be the same and buyers are going to see that difference and they're going to want to have it reflected in the price. So that's the first step. We walk through, we look at it. You tell me everything that you've done recently, the updated hot water heater, the new furnace, the new roof, the new carpet, all of that stuff. And then um, often I'll ask you what you like most about your house. Cause sometimes it might be something that I don't know about. Um, and I'm always interested to see over time what you thought was great. Um, then second, I go back to my office and I look at all the comparable data. I find everything that's sold recently. It's got to be within six months and it has to be within a mile of the property because that's typically how appraisers evaluate value. And so I want to make sure that what my price is, is reflected of how, um, the bank is going to figure out what your value is. So that's number two. Then I'll send you all that information and we'll have a conversation about what we think because there's never the same house, especially in the Portland market. In Scottsdale, Arizona, maybe you'll have the same house right next door, the exact same house, same paint scheme, same bathroom, same location, but Portland just doesn't have that. So it's going to be a little bit more nuanced and a little bit more subtle and a little harder to determine. Um, so because of that, we're going to talk about a range because of course this is not science, it's more art. And so you're never sure exactly what number it's going to be until you list the property. So I'm going to also get you what's called a net sheet. That's going to show the breakdown of costs and credits associated with the sale so that you're going to know exactly what amount of money you get to use on your next purchase or take with you to Mexico if that's where you're going to <laughs> relocate to. Um, but yeah, that's really the biggest key of pricing a home is making sure it's reflective of the specific property and the market itself at that moment in time. So sometimes there's going to be something that you did recently that you thought was the most fantastic thing that you've ever done to your house. Recently, I've been in listings where they took rough sawn wood and put it on the back of the bedroom wall as an accent. And I know somebody thought that that was amazing. And my buyer actually thought it was amazing too, but it really depends on what you're doing. Some of those projects aren't going to add value. So I'm trying to balance what in the market is valuable, what buyers are actually looking for right now and also what appraisers are concerned about as far as condition goes or systems. So, you know, part of that is the appraisers mostly only concerned with, is the roof going to leak? Are you going to die falling down the stairs? Cause there's no handrail. Is the crawl space accessible so that you can get in there and check on things? Um, there's a laundry list of things that they're going to look for depending on the loan. And we'll talk more about that um, in another home happy hour about specifics that we can look out for, for the appraisal part of the um, process. Of course, I'm always interested to hear what experiences you've had. So comment below and let me know. And thanks so much for tuning in this week on the home happy hour. Cheers.